Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. We just got done uh, discovering actually that there's some dark deep entity that's trying to destroy everything here. Which is probably bad news, but for some reason I'm excited about it, so let's get back to wherever we're going. I did have hot armor and I, I think you need two, one cold armor. Never mind. Maybe there was cold armor. Oh, I'll go there in a second. I think there might have been cold armor in um, the Cola Wars place. Where are you, Mark? I'm John Smith. Uh, how do you know my name? Uh, we hobos are a tight knit little community. When someone's been helping us out, word gets around. Well, that's nice. A little creepy, but nice on balance. Why don't you come visit our camp? We'd be glad to have you. Where is it? Well, you just head down 12th Street till you see the lot where the old hardware store used to be, and then you take a. You know what? This will be simpler if I just mark it on your map. Oh, all right. Adieu. Oh. There it is. Alright, but I need to pop in here because I need to see if there's cold armor. Oh, yeah, the grenade. I forgot about that. Yeah, threw all six of them. Two blew up in my face. Two out of six isn't bad. I think I can still sell them in exchange for your research. I'll give you- Oh! How much of a discount? 200 mean- Whoa! <laughs> Seems uh, less like a discount, more like a flat reward. I just don't like doing arithmetic. Alright. See what's for sale. You got any cold armor? Ration cigarettes. Bad for you, despite what the radio advertisements say. Whoa. Why is it dubious? Maybe that's because it might blow up in my face. One in three chance. That makes sense. Parmesan missile? <gasps> Ooh. Culinary tactics. Yes. So this one is not dubious. It is for realsies. But the unfortunate thing is, I do not see any cold armor. I also, I'm always hesitant to sell anything, mostly just because you never know when a random bullshit item will be useful in a random bullshit place. You hear a wet, oh, expired sell C, that's exactly what I'm talking about. How would I have even known that I was supposed to have that? Okay, two more of those weird fish headed guys are rooting around the trash cans. You don't think they're the same ones as before, but since you're not hugely familiar, it's hard to be sure. Uh... I mean, I don't I didn't fight the other ones. Maybe there's something to be- Ooh! Well, that's handy. Hey! Oh, it's you! If it isn't Mark, nice to see you! Looks like that rumor you heard about a hobo camp turned out to be on the level. Oh, sure. The old hobo code is pretty trustworthy, as a general rule. You're pretty good on that harmonica. Thanks, you wanna know my secret? Have only one hobby and all the time in the world to practice it. <laughs> What do we got here? Gab with Gabby, anything to insight here? Nope. Warm my hands. Oh! Oh! I'm off, I'm going! How in the hell did that happen? Hello. Two goblins wearing shorts with suspenders carrying, you know those things? Marching band things? They're like an upright harp, except what? Except instead of strings, they have metal xylophone bars. What? No, I don't know those things. Anyway, the goblins are carrying those when they interrupt you. Hello, what's up? You're trudging on official territory of the Glocklins in. Am I? I don't know what a Glocklin is. We are the Glocklins, we both. We are the toughest of street gangs in Ocean City. That think about that, you. I don't feel particularly threatened. What? That's totally incorrect. I like your xylophones, though. Z xylophones? These are Glocklin spears, have you ever? Oh, Glocklins. Ah. I'm outraged. I think we shall a mugging do. All right. I don't know how this is going to go. Ah, you're fine. I didn't learn the other thing that I had to do the thing. Oh, well, who cares? You're going to hit uh, buff. You're going to buff. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, flap slap. Well, so much those Glockenspiels did for you. Ooh, a Glockenspiel necklace. Wow. Perfect for the heavily burdened music lover who doesn't have a hand free for a normal Glockenspiel. <laughs> a Glocklin mallet ball. Used to be part of a Glockenspiel mallet. You can't make music with it anymore, but you'd still probably put someone's eye out. All right. That's pretty good. Now I should be able to get through this cold, which probably is going to be something either cool and or hilarious. I'm <laughs> sorry. This is, this is why you don't sell anything, because you never know when you're going to need the fishing rod. Is it going to work? Please work this time. 
You carefully fish the useful chemicals out from the middle of all the dangerous one. How in the hell did I do that? Solutions, precipitates, tinctures, you bet. Got a little bit of everything in here. How did I do that? Pretty flower growing out of this patch of frosty industrial waste is probably a metaphor for something you don't understand. Damien? Box of miscellaneous junk. Ooh. Mana charge refrigeration coal. If you can't figure out anything useful to do with it, you could always just sell it. Well, I won't do that. Uh, if the factory is leaving you cold, you could always leave. It is, and I'd like to, I think. All right, back to the camp. What did I just replace? Cufflinks, mysticality. Technically, don't I have a ranged weapon? Wouldn't that be something that I would want? Also, why am I, why am I naked? I'm very naked. Oh. Whoa! 300 meat! Oh my god! Oh god, I need to put that in the thing. It's just wrong. Once per fight? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Well, I gotta find out what it is. Plus, I gotta go back and de-curse it anyway. Uh, in particular, you notice he's sitting on top of a mailbox. He notices you too and extends his hand for a handshake. You realize I'm about 30 feet away, right? Oh, it's across the street. Yeah, but I can't leave the mailbox. Sometimes I regret my curious nature, but I'll ask anyway. Why can't you leave the mailbox? Come on over and I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Tom Marvin. I'm Marvin. I'm Mark. What are you doing up there? A stunt. A stunt. It doesn't seem particularly stunty. You're just sitting there. Yeah, and I've been sitting here for seven months, 15 days, nine hours, and 41 minutes. Why? <laughs> Why? It's a stunt. Protesting? Attracting attention? Nope. Money? Contest? Bet? Nope. feel like you really don't get the concept of a stunt. I guess not. Would you mind helping me out? Yeah, yeah. Snackle cakes? You want snackle cakes. Nobody other than you wanted to acquire the taste of powdered milk mixed with sawdust and the nails still in it because snackle mills went out of business years ago. Yeah, but the shelf life on those things is incredible. It's what makes them so good for stun rations. I got my supply from Hiram's Grocery down the street. All right. Hello. Knock. Who's there? Mark. Mark who? E. Pierre. That is weirdly specific. Tenny. Tenny turn. Hmm. Sylvia. Boy. Johnny. Atom, mark, change. Fine. All right, goodbye. Oh, God, do I want to go here right away? So, you, oh, Gabby, so are you new? You are new in Ocean City. Your first time at it? That's right. What things have you got of it? Well, to be honest with you, it seems a little run down. Yes, Gabby understands you. It was much nicer before an economy happened. Lots of people, very excited. Oh, oh, have you seen the boardwalk yet? It's like a cat wearing pajamas. Huh? Has games there, and a future teller. Wow, I'm learning everything. I'm going now. Goodbye, Hirams. I'll never get to where I was. Who are you? You're not sure if the lamppost is holding up the hobo or vice versa. Hi, I'm Dusty. <laughs> What's up, Dusty? Oh, nothing much just hanging around. I was going to run a three-card Monte down there on the boardwalk, but that didn't pan out. Why not? Well, there's a fellow there running a game down there, and I prefer not to step on his toes. Just a matter of professional courtesy, you see? And also, because carnies get real scary about that kind of thing, and I ain't looking to be murdered anytime soon. Any way I can help? Well, that's real kind of you. I was thinking of looking for a different corner. Can you spare a nickel for a cup of joe and get my feet moving? Uh, yeah, there you go. I am a good egg. I'm a very good egg. Oh, dimly lit tent. Teenage girl dressed as an old woman. Well, that's strange. Terror readings 50 meat. These prices are outrageous! You can buy seven and six. Oh, uh, no, no, just thanks. All right, I'll get you in a second. Okay, photographer. If it's more bills, here's my inbox. Uh, you ain't the jumping Jehoshaphat. Baby, where have you been all my life? <laughs> that face. That's exactly the face I've been looking for. It's perfect. Thanks, I've grown rather attached to it myself. Hey, you're funny too, baby. I love you. You're incredible. Listen, do you know who I am? Sign your roof says Tony Fiasco, hat photographer. That's right, baby. That's exactly right, and soon I'm gonna be the biggest hat photographer in the world. City. No, the country. No, the world! I was right the first time! But there's something I need first. A face? A portfolio! And you know what I need before I got a portfolio, huh? A face! Your face, baby! Well, listen, it's easy. All you gotta do is stroll in here wearing a hat, and all I gotta do is take a photograph of that hat, and then we're both gonna be rich. Rich? RICH! Me with my portfolio and you with the 30 meat, I'm gonna pay you for every picture. Oh, well. 
Gotta be a different hat, though. Gotta be a different hat every time. I ain't paying you for the same hat twice. Got it? How about this hat? What is that? An uncursed fedora? Perfect! I love it! Oh man, if only I had gotten the cursed fedora. I don't think it would have been possible to do that. Thanks for the meat. Do I have any other hats? No. I thought I did, but I don't. Test my everything. Ooh! Wow! Every winner gets a prize, but not everyone's a winner. Only 10 meat. Newcomers start off with something relatively easy. All you have to do is guess my age. Throw a dart and pop a balloon and drive a nail into this board with one <laughs> swing of a hammer. Okay! Yeah! You aim the dart while winding up your arm for a hammer swing and squinting at the proprietor. Well, you look about 38, but Eureka cigarette smoke, so you got, I got, I'm gonna say 34. Nicely done, right on the money is your prize. Beach shoes? Crab claw? <laughs> Makes you walk like a crab? Hooray! <laughs> well, I don't even have shoes! Oh! <laughs> Uh, why is that even a thing? Hello, cooking for health, Ma medical manchego. Yes. Hot, hot. I'll take that. Hot, 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 hot. hot. Oh, hot. Okay, goodbye. Let me get my other hat here. Stupid hat. Fish? Oh! I got a... I got a handful of cream cheese. <laughs> it's cream cheese in its least convenient form. Great. That's good. I'll keep fishing, I guess. You find an empty bag nearby that you can use to hold any fish you manage to reel in. Nice, you caught a pinafore halibut. You toss it in your fish sack. You got an item. Fish in a sack. Ah! Did I catch the fish or did I catch the sack? Anyway, I got... I got a fish in a sack. I got a crusty ring. One wet cigarette. Only objects capable of giving you cancer in a tapeworm at the same time. Great. Nasty goo. I'm gonna be here a while. Because I like- Oh, it looks like you've caught everything- Oh! Alright, fine, I did everything I could here. I don't even remember why I was- Why was I here? I don't even remember why. Wasn't it Gabby? Gabby, didn't you want to be here? Gabby, why did we come here? We need to go to Hiram's! Hello, this is Doughboy territory. If you want to walk down the street, you gotta pay the toll. What's the toll? How about five knuckles? I don't have five meat. Too bad. All right, fine. Let him beat me up. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Why did I let him beat me up? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, filthy trash can. Dig through it. You know it, baby. Ah, a single shoe saves you the trouble of using both feet for walking. Check for a second one. There isn't a second one. Fair enough. Okay, all right, all right. A bored-looking hobo lounges against the wall of a decrepit building. I'm looking for Hiram the grocery. Was when about biz mumble. When it went out of biz mumble. Oh no! When? Mmm, couple of mums. Have <laughs> you been standing here that whole time? Mmm. What are you doing here? Mmm. Just waiting for mumble. Waiting for what? Some work. Some or some mumble. <laughs> You're looking for work. Yeah, just for two lap more for mumble. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna find any work here. Considering the store is pretty thoroughly closed, I don't think you're gonna find any work. Hmm. Figured nothing stern, mumble. <laughs> it doesn't look to me like another <laughs> store's gonna open. Hmm. It's me. I think I'm making very kind of mumble. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> that's not okay. Crowbar, see? I told you it was important. Oh, goodbye. Oh. He's dork. Dig through it. Yep. Lip bomb. Okay. Huh. An empty self. Unless. No, it's empty. Unless. But wait! <sighs> oh, wait, what's this? What? What? Oh, there's nothing. 
Unless, unless, all right, fine. The register is empty unless you know someone who accepts mouse trappings in currency behind the counter. Uh, invoice for a shipment from Snackle Mills factory, which is marked as never having arrived. The factory's address is listed. All right, good. Whoa, rusty tongs, barbecue tongs. Oh, that's kind of nice. Is it all to do bar with barbecue? Is that all it is? Whoa, that's a lot of more things than I thought it was. Holy crap. Okay. Snackle meals it is. I forget what I was doing before, but I've completely forgotten. Uh, you look like someone who appreciates a fine pair of pants. I don't. I'm naked, actually. What does that even look like? <laughs> Astute, discerning, even dare I say pers persacious. Perspicacious. Please put the definition of perspicacious. Is that something to do with perspiring? I don't know. I have never met anyone who dared to say that word before. <laughs> Listen, I've got a pair of pants here that is going to knock your socks off. I don't know if I want that. He opens his case and pulls out a pair of slacks that are old, stiff, and shiny. Feast your eyes on these babies! Waxed slacks. With these durable wax-infused trousers, grease will slide off you like grease off a duck's leg. They're waxed! Guaranteed greaseproof. And they're yours. Alright. Cool. Whoo, and that's my rent for the month dealt with. Thanks, pal. Miss Brewster is a real stickler. Miss Brewster? Yeah, she runs the boarding house for that me and a bunch of other guys stay in whenever we're in town. If you ever need a room, you could do a lot worse. Miss Brewster's home for traveling salesmen. I have a room, but maybe I'll check it out. I'm getting so many locations. I've barely done anything. I've just got so many locations. Snackle cakes, the worst snack food ever developed. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Can I have another? No? Hmm. Let me see what else is here. Loading door is slightly ajar? But what about the front door? Uh, I can open it! Looks like the abandoned factory has been occupied by one of Ocean City's various gangs of street hoodlums. Namely, the Doughboys. They're hanging out here in the leather jackets and white aprons, bragging about their sourdough starters and using rude words like focaccia and son of a brioche. Or they were until you made that huge racket getting in here. Now they're staring at you, and also pointing knives at you. And they're bread knives, which are serrated, so you really don't want to get stabbed with one. Oops! All right. Don't mind me. I don't have any material. Uh, give. Give. I think I do. Um. I'll be all sneaky-like. Oh. They seem to be aware of me over here as well. Whip! The Doughboys are clearly less aggressive than other street gangs in that they're glaring at you and muttering angrily to each other instead of already having attacked you. However, it's also clear that you aren't getting past him without a fight. I'm gonna get past him. With a fight. Uh-oh. Well, this might be a problem. How? I don't have any AOE abilities, do I? I'm gonna sling this at you. Meh. <laughs> Decrease Allery the Loafer's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by 13. This is a bad idea. Usable. <laughs> this is a bad idea? Well, I mean, I gotta try it. Take that! Uh-oh. It didn't seem like that bad of an idea. It seems actually pretty okay. I mean, honestly, this seems to be going swimmingly. I don't know why anyone thought that was a bad idea. Shadows Over Loathing is a silly name, and it means nothing. All right, goodbye. Oh, they should call you too much soup because you just spoiled these, those cooks. I don't get it. All right, cool. Hi, I killed your friends. Strange that this group of doughboys didn't immediately attack you when you were roughing up the other of them. Maybe they don't like each other very much. Well, I don't like them either. Ow. All right. I'm getting pretty strategic about combat. But unfortunately, he's got strength against my stank. But not that much. I don't see what the bad idea about cursing people with the watch was. Seems to be working out pretty lovely. In fact, if I took away the curse, I think that I wouldn't be able to fight as well. This is just going swimmingly for me. Probably. There definitely won't be any repercussions about this. Maybe I steal their soul and it'll be harder to cleanse the curse. Oh well. 
You left those doughboys in the dust. I think it's flour. I'm very funny. I'm extremely funny. Unbelievable. Oh, this must be the boss's office since it's the only office. The leader of the doughboys, identifiable by the fact that he has a greasier hat and more rivets on his jackets than the other doughboys, if not by the fact that he's in a manager's office, doesn't appear to notice you when you enter. He appears to be focused on several large piles of wet bread dough lying on the ground around him. All right. I was just making sure I had my pants on. Ugh. The boss doughboy has not taken notice of you yet. He's probably not so dense that you can get any closer to him. Hello. What the? Who the hell were you? What are you doing with all these piles of dough? Uh, not that it's any business to use as I'm perfecting my recipe for bread golems. Soon I'm gonna be running this town. Oh yeah, you and what army? Me and my army of bread golems. Were you not listening? I probably shouldn't let you get away with this. You'll be lucky to get away with all your arms and legs. Rise, my minions. Oh god. Uh oh. Hold on, don't do it. No, not my bird! My poor bird. Why are you so goddamn slow? Do you have to be that slow? All right, but what if? But what if I hypnotize you? That's what you get? Probably, I think. Pretty sure that's what I want to do. Probably totally fine. Slap him, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. Ooh, Chibata's pants. Goddamn. Man enriched flour ever since the advent of mass produced magical flour, the cost of fire insurance has skyrocketed. All right, I did it. He's dead now forever. Do I want Chibata's plants? Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, you gain 68 meat and dough baby recipe. Quest item? I don't think anybody's given me that quest yet. Alright, let's get out of here, Gabby. This was quite a side quest that we went on. Uh, can I go back to the... It's got the same symbols on him. Interesting. Oh, I remember what I didn't do. I gotta go back to the boardwalk. Oh, so many things. What? Another location! Oh, I'll get to it in a second. Because I didn't get my fortune told. I didn't get my fortune. All right, I'll pay for a reading. First card tells us about where you've been. Oh my, it's the 16 of C's. What does that mean? It implies a piece of unfinished business in your history. I see cows. I don't remember anything like that. Second card is about where you are in the present. Jack of loaves. What deck are you using again? The card indicates that you're in a fortune teller's tent. Can't argue with that. Last card tells the future. Six of plums. I see your future, I see great er danger. I think it's danger. Well, that didn't help at all, except for plums, I guess. Would this be better than my grimy spatula? It's hot damage. Maybe that's good. I'll give it a try. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. We got to go also go back to Plunkett Street because we got to decursify this thing that I've probably been randomly cursing people with, and it's probably very bad to do such things. So I'm going to... Uncursify it. Snorts the pocket watch up into its dome and begins its strange and loud work. The pocket watch is pulled this way and that. Its ticks become... And its talks becomes... And its three hands are forcibly bent back. You swear you hear screams and then it's done. Hands now at 14.11.54. Now that it's free of taint, it's just a boring regular watch. If you think about it though, being on time for things is kind of like a magical power. Alright. Want to project your consciousness into it? Yeah, why not? In your mind's eye, you see the hands of a pocket watch spin back on themselves with jittery violence. With each revolution, the face of the watch itself expands until it is larger than you, and the building, and the street. Your whole world lives in the blur of the fast-running hands in which you see your life go by in reverse time. Submarines turn to longship cities to stone dwellings, cowboys to courtesians. You're traveling faster and faster to the beginning of time itself, and there's no telling when this war ride will end. I'm a dinosaur. I'm a... I'm a- Eat the- No! Open the door. With those two salad forks? No, you lack the opposable thumbs necessary to turn the doorknob. You're completely contained in here unless you can figure out how to open doors. I don't even know what dexterity is. I don't know anything about dexterity. Rrr. Eat try- I won't. Why would I do that? Check for messages. There's a note for you. Dinosaur. No phone number. Hmm. Uh... Eat, open a door, eat Jessica, eat Charles, eat Gabby, eat Cat. 
Uh, I don't really want to do those things. Um, how about I break down this door? Huh, oh, you slap your prehistoric tummy against the wood, but it doesn't even make a dent. Maybe that's why dinosaurs went extinct. Uh, gain what? <laughs> ha! Huh. Ooh! I'm getting better. Can I eat the chessboard? No, 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 no. 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 I won't allow myself to be done in like this. I am more than a dinosaur. Unstitch the rug? Eat phone. Well, Mark, attend thy temper. I tried. Eat. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Damn it. Oh, flip the. Da oh, was right there. It was right there. Okay. I open the doorknob. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten the. Oh, it's too late. I gotta go back. Hold on. Let's try that again. Wait, I can't undo what I did? No. 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 Oh. But I... I'm sorry. There's nobody I can call anymore. Oh, man! Oh, isn't he? I thought I could reset it. No! No! Wait, I didn't eat, Gabby? Wait, whoa there, hoss. What's got y'all horns and rattles? Been dipping into the nose paint again? Gabby doesn't talk like that. Sure is, partner, sure is. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. Whoop, I'll peep you. I'm the quickest draw in the West. Sure enough, can you open a door? I don't know. Never had a head for puzzles. Got me right funkified. I didn't eat. What? What strangeness afflicts thee? Never mind, for the sun transits the horizon, and I grow ever more, ever the more in the need of a size assistance. Can you open these doors? Curious, sir, for I do not believe those doors to be locked. Well, what do I know? And thou will find in the telephone table, thither, a key to satisfy thy need. Okay. So I'm not eating them. Eat that table. Your stomach is bigger than your brain, and you devour the entire table in a few quick bites. The key to the door now lies safe and sound in your dinosaur stomach. Ah. Easy does it, baby. We're all hungry. I'm a dinosaur. Can you open it for a door? What's that, Greta garbled? Please tell me this isn't gonna eat the cat. Oh! Thank goodness. Oh. Hey, kitty! Kitty. 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 Fine. Well, now I'm confused. Real groovy pocket watch you got there, Mark. I like the way it tick, tick, ticks. You understand me? Yes. A lot of power in that timepiece. A lot of power. Would you make a promise to me, baby? Would you promise not to throw that power away? A lot of good can be done with that groovy power, baby. Charles doesn't call me baby. I hear you, kitty cat. What do you say, kitty cat? Will you do me a promise? Promise not to throw away the groovy power in that timepiece. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe it's the only thing I have left. Yeah, let's do it. All right, shake on it. We're shaking. <laughs> you fool! You fool! Alright, you can't relate. Travel along. Die, Don Capitas. Claws making only minor holes in the pages. Well, now I have eight. Add to the list. Town's card level help on the dock chalkboard. Well, I have ten now, right? Don't I? Sign my name. Ooh! Thank you. Open door. Oh! Hi! Hello. So we meet at last, with I looking the older man, though you are far older than I shall ever be. Well, I never saw this room before. We are the Alpha and the Omega, you the beginning of time and I its end. Will you walk with me, dear friend, to watch the death of our world and the birth of another? Ah, uh, rar, 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 Oh. Oh, oh. It's upgraded. The curse is lifted. Time is in its rightful home and you no longer have a tail. I wish I had a tail. Me too sometimes. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... 
I guess I did it. Charles seems preoccupied to keep checking his pockets. Lose something? Misplaced a chuck key to my drill. What's a chuck key, Chucky? It's a twisty thing for tightening the chuck on a drill. Can't have gotten far. All right. There's a button on your map labeled Wander. I just got a Wander? Hmm. Okay. Wander. Operator, operator, get my worthless son on the line! I'm not a payphone. That's what the last payphone said, and I'm not buying it. Let me talk to my son. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, the line is busy. Please try again. Probably gabbling with one of his floozy girlfriends. Okay. As you're walking past one of Ocean City's many disused public urinals, you notice that one's been filled up with ice cubes. As you investigate further, for some reason, you notice that one of them isn't in the uh, ice cube at all, but is a frozen rock. I am a psychogeologist, I think. You wipe all the rock off, examine it, and then pound it into flakes. I got... frosty flakes. It's like snow, but in flake form. Why did I do that? I'm gonna go back to Plunkett Street because I... There's so many things that I have yet to do and I have not done and I am so in the middle of everything that I don't even remember where I was. I own this place now! You find Oliver? Ah, yeah. I don't like the sound of that. Oliver is gone. The handoff went extremely bad. Badly. Yeah, that too. You go over the events, Fancy Dan makes a variety of faces at various points in your story because Fancy Dan is a good listener. Show him the deed. Oliver was carrying this, hmm. Says here that ownership of the speakeasy is automatically transferred to whoever has physical possession of the this deed. Is that legal? No, this is legal. Oh yeah. I guess you're my new boss, baby. Let's have one drink to mourn the old one. Ah. <sighs> Good idea! I guess we ought to change the name's place. Well, Oliver, Oliver's place is no longer Oliver's place. I suppose that's right. Got any ideas? Well, you could go traditional. Just call it Mark's place or something hip like the purple door. Or something incisive and avant-garde. I don't know. Noblesse oblige. I don't know. I'm gonna call Mumfler's rest in respect of Mumfler Fumperdink, who I have not forgotten. I just happened to forget the name when I was starting this, but it's different people. I wouldn't. Uh, uh. Oh wait, no, Fumperdink's drink. I almost made the worst mistake I possibly could. Fumperdink's drink. My God, to business. We make the beer in-house, so that's safe, but we're out of everything else, and based on your story, I'd say the stuff at the factory isn't safe to use. If you can find booze or mixers or garnishes, bring it back here. Any idea where to get started? Check with Barnaby. Milky-eyed sot. It's that guy. Nose for news and a sixth sense for booze. He might know where you can find what you're looking for. Can I have a beer? Thanks. Thank you. So... About the spittoon. Hey, your spittoon is kind of inconvenient. Nah, nah, baby, that spittoon isn't for spitting in. It's gone out of style now that mass-produced cigarettes are readily available anyway. That's a bona fide historical artifact. What, really? That's right, belonged to a famous adventurer from Frisco, just before the turn of the century. Who? Nobody's exactly sure. A lot of people think it belonged to Mumfler Fumperdink. It's a strong theory because if there's one thing we know about that cat, it's that he loved spittoons. But other people say it belonged to a fellow by the name of Thern Leone, and a whole lot of other people claim it belonged to a whole lot of other people. But there's one thing we know for sure about this spittoon, whoever's it was. They didn't use it for spitting into. They wore it as a hat. What? Ew, gross. <laughs> right? They sure got into some uh, weird stuff back then. Yeah. One of the world's most weird. <laughs> Congratulations. Very Yay! weird. Woo! Can I have it? Can I have it? <sighs> Can I have that? Can I have the hat? Can I have it? Uh, Barnaby. Here you go. Distilled to its essence, a lake is just a valley abandoned. They try, but they'll never dam up the flow. I get it. I, I understand what this is all about. I understand. Okay. Um. Well, thanks all so much for being here at Fumperding Strink. I do appreciate all of you. That is a weird coincidence. Does it remember your last save? Does it remember the achievements you've made? Or did they actually put Mumfler Fumperdink in here? <laughs> That would be very, very sweet of them. God, I, I'm so behind. Marvin wrote, Oh, I need to wander. Oh, uh, what? Your path unexpectedly blocked by a huge pile of junk. A broken down car, a busted lamppost, a couch with the springs poking out of it, and a wide variety of other sorted trash. What happened here? Oh, Gabby has a memory of it. There was an accident a couple weeks ago. That car had a tire break and smashed on the lamppost. 
That explains the car in a lamppost. But why are they still here? And what's with all this other junk? City trash takeawayers are all contractors now. And who wanted to pay for it? Nobody! So the car waits there, and people put junk there because that's the place where junk is. Gabby, you're talking really succinctly. No, no, not in the street. That's- I'll oh, go around it. That's dangerous. Look at the lamppost for what a car can do. Well, sure, but the traffic isn't bad right now, and hair. It's not any problem. Gabby starts picking up junk and snacking it out of the way, clearing a path. Thanks, Gabby, but it's not really- Heave. Ha! With a mighty shove, Gabby knocks a wrecked car over on his side, wrestles it into a parking spot. Wow. Gabby sure showed that car where a car goes! Gabby's muscle increased by one. Great! Note to self, don't piss off Gabby. Hey, here's your shit! I finally found some. Here you go. Expert sitter, you're so good at sitting down that you make it look even easier than it normal does. Thanks! I don't know how you granted me with that, but that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I still need to wander. I don't know if I need to wander from- Oh! Never mind! I got it. Oh, a thin, nervous-looking man in a suit stops you. Excuse me, sir. Do you fear for your safety in this dangerous city full of hoodlums and criminals? Well, I didn't until you said that. Then it's a good thing you met me. I have the solution right here. Oh, what are you selling? He holds up a small case and opens it, displaying a selection of the tiniest pistols you've ever seen. Derringers! With one of these up your sleeve in your sock or wherever you can think to hide it, personal self-defense is right at your fingertips. Are concealed pistols legal in the state? What? Probably. Sure. Uh, how much? 30 meat? I mean, it's a pretty good deal. I won't regret- I, Hey, it's not a bad deal. Alright, here's your dumb chuck, Charles. Where'd you find it? Under a bush. All right, well, that's all there is. Why am I glittering? Why am I glowing? Well, no time to think about that right now. I need to go see if there's any more I can buy here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, helmet. That's a hat. That's technically a hat. That is technically also a hat. This was apparently important for something. I don't know why. Smelling salts? Sure. Sardines? Okay. Spork? Sure. Grenade? Yes. All right, I'm good. I do love a bugle, though. I'll get it. Why not? Hey, you want to buy some shit? I have a- I have some fish. I got fish somewhere here. Fish. You want fish? You know, there you go. Okay, but now I can get more money because if I go back to the boardwalk and I wear my other hats, then I'll be able to get all the meat I need. Gabby takes a piece of candy out of her purse and tosses it in her mouth and holds her purse to you. Want one? Sure. Thanks. I guess I did hear somewhere that goblins process sugar really effectively and don't need as many vitamins as humans. <laughs> Jealous? Yeah, actually. That would be dope. I love candy. Oh, gas mask. Hello! Wow. You're welcome. And helmet. There you go. I like this. This is a good job. But I like my fedori. All right. Now with that out of the way, where the hell was I? I, I God, I was at the hobo camp. Ah. Huh? It's an unusual sight. Four Glocklins are playing their glockenspiels while doing some kind of traditional folk dance. It involves a lot of skipping and hopping and turning around in a square with precise timing. So they aren't paying any attention to you. Or at anyone else, really. Yeah, join in. Whee! But you definitely don't know the steps and would only cause chaos. Oh, damn it. It'll be simpler just to attack them since a brawl would probably result anyway. Fine. Hey! Hey! Stop it! Stop it. Ha -da -da -da. Ship. Easy. And done though. Okay, easy enough. I'm getting better at the combat. Also, it's not on hard, so it's totally fine. Alright, the hobo camp. Guess what? We're back, guys. We made it here. Hi. Oh, hey, Samuel. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Were we able to find any work? Nobody's home. That's a shame. Let's <laughs> camp treating you. That's great. Community is real important. Definitely better than standing on an abandoned street corner. Um, for sure. I don't suppose any chance of a punchline where you really suddenly say something really elaborate and completely understandable. Mm, okay. Goodbye. Uh, Gabby. 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 
Okay. Hello. You must be the Hobo King. Crown gave it away, I presume? Yep. Well, you're absolutely correct. I'm the Hobo King, though to foster a more familial air, I permit size subjects to call me Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. I'm Mark. What can I do for you? Got a question. Where are you from? Hoboken. Of course you are. Don't touch that telephone! Royal use only. This phone isn't actually connected to anything. Don't let it hear you say that. Okay, why did I come here? Alright, I'm coming in here. You haven't seen one of these in ages, whatever it is. One thing these notebooks have in common is that you don't understand any of them. Bewildering array of, array of partially redacted nonsense. You don't even understand the titles of your books. Music. Hello. Oh, hello, you must be new here. I don't think I've seen you around. My name is Mark. Pleased to meet you. I'm Letters McCabe. Is there anything I can assist you? Why do they call you Letters? Expert in microcryptography, aka hobo code. What's that? System of pictographic elements that can be written unobtrusively on walls or carved into fence posts, etc. They're traditionally used by hobos to leave messages for other hobos, to mark a house where the occupants are charitable, for instance, or to warn of a vicious guard dog, that sort of thing. I'm working on expanding the system for more general communicating purposes. That's pretty interesting. I actually did know about that. Uh, what's the book you're reading from? Hobo Code Manual. Uh, teach me the basics. Okay, thank you. Because there are some letters out there that I've seen already. What's the stuff in the room? Stuff is a little overboard. Uh, point to anything and I'll be informative. Okay, what is this? Uh, what's the machine? Naval radio cri and cryption. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to gloss over these. Uh, what's this? Shoebox. Old shoes. You're welcome. Heavy boots. Hand me down boots, but they've been passed from hobo to hobo for generations. Probably about 50 pounds of metal reinforcements on them by now. Heavy boots. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly what that is, but all right. Desktop radio, what's the deal? It's a ham radio. What's it for? Listen to stuff about ham. All right. What's this thing? Teletype machine we salvaged when they shut down one of the local post office for cutbacks patched into the local telegraph so we can communicate with some of the other hobo communities. Heavy duty equipment. Not liberty to discuss the details. Quite important if Johnny's plans are going to come to fruition. Hmm. I'll talk to Johnny about that. Hey, Johnny, what the hell's going on in there? Secret plan? Bye -bye -bye. Mine uh, divulge alone, so will you divulge? You're practically a stranger here. I apologize, but I can't... Huh. You teach me some hobo... Oh, according to the hobo hobo code code, I am, of course, obliged to assist. But first, let me test you. Convince me of your worthiness. I don't even know how to bewitch. How would I, how how do I bewitch? I don't understand. Grub. Uh, hello. Hi. They call me 52 Teeth Thompson, or just 52 for short. Is that because of the 52 white keys on a piano? Nope. Hobo coat? Arpeggio. Ah, piano? I brought this baby with me on foot. How? Well, it took a few trips. That didn't answer any questions. Due to supply chain difficulties, the grub car is currently bring your own grub. Condiments are still available. All right. Hello. Folks call me Washy, by the way. Hi, Washy. All right. Hobo code. All right. Hobo code. Thank you for the hobo code. Should I? Hmm. Probably shouldn't mess around here. Clonk, clank. Clank, clonk. Shouldn't mess around here. Clank, clonk, stank, stomp. All right. Well, anyway, somehow I've run out another hour doing absolutely nothing. I swear I started this episode by getting to the hobo camp, and I'm back here again, and I just now explored it. But that's what this game's all about. You find a lot of cool things to do, and they all intersect in random weird ways. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below, and I'll get back to this real soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!